No. Okay, Bowling Chapel Church. At that time, there was a college in Marionville. They closed it down. And somehow, they found out about it, and they took wagons up there and tore that building down and moved it down here with wagons, and it is solid stone. About, God, I don't know, 16, 18 inches thick. Wow. Stone. And they hold it down here and built that church. Really? Yeah. Out of college? Yeah. That's amazing. Lloyd, Lloyd Bowling, he was one of the, I think Mom said they were second cousins. He donated land. Okay. And they built, the schoolhouse was already there. Then they built the church and made the cemetery. That's the, really interesting. The old schoolhouse now is a, is a home. Nathan McCullough's daughter owns it. Okay. McCullough. Yeah, Pleasant Hill, better known as Hideout. Hideout. <laughs> Hideout. Where they hid from in the army. Yeah, bushwhackers. Bushwhackers. Okay. This is Civil War era. Yeah. Civil War era. And yeah. then this area here was again the Bowling Ridge. Bowling Ridge. Wow. Yeah. There used to be an article in the Crane paper, news from Bowling Ridge. No kidding. Yeah. Well, that's neat. Is there any questions you have? I was just wondering what part of Flat Creek, because I'd always heard Grandpa would fish Flat Creek from Elsie. What's the quickest way? Where, where did he go? Because I know if you go down to Cape Fair and stuff, it's a long way down that way. How would he get there? Probably the road that's there now. The yeah. Cape Fair Road? Cape Fair Road. Go down there. Probably went down to the mouth of Dry Creek. That's, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Virgil Asher's. Up and down. Now my grandpa, mom talked about him. He'd work in the field all day, come in and eat supper, get his pole, and walk from here. You know where the mouth wheeler's at? No. Turn there at Baptist Church at Elsie and just keep going that way till you see the river. You're at Mouth Wheeler. Okay. He'd walk down there and fish at night and walk back. Oh my goodness. That's a pretty good hike. That's right. Yeah. Six miles. Mm -hmm. So. Now this is kind of off subject, but can you go ahead and talk about the spring and them canning down down the hill by the spring? All I know is what Mom told me, and if you look at that picture, she's the baby, baby, baby. Okay. So she only remembers what she'd been told. Okay. And outside of that, I really know nothing about it. They would just, this huge garden Back behind, they would it would be all one garden, and they would can down there by the spring. Oh, they planted tomatoes in this part of the country by the acres. By the acres, by okay. The acres. That's interesting. As a matter of fact, when I was, when you got big enough, you could drop tomato plants for two people. You was a big boy then. Huh? And <laughs> that field right there, that whole open field, plumb up to that barn, that's the first year I could drop for two, two setters. That whole field was tomatoes. And that, the last year Dad grew tomatoes was in 1952. And he got $6 a ton for them picked and delivered to the factory. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And made money. Wow. Yeah. And he paid his pickers. Yeah. Uh, nickel a crate. I don't know. Probably held a half a bushel. Mm hmm. Oh, you can follow them back that old pickup. Let's go to the can factory. Okay. Yeah. I always liked doing that because mom was over there peeling tomatoes. Mm hmm. Mm. Yeah, the rest of the time I was home with Shadow. Me and Dale. And when it school time, it was just me and dad. There was no babysitters. I can count on them. I can count on both hands the time I went and spent a day with Granny Annie. Dad had something to do. Whatever he done, I done. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. That's what they called you, Shadow, huh? I was the Shadow. Huh, interesting. And when he went to work, get up there around that tree and stay there. We'll be back. No kidding. You played, you sat up there and you played, had one little old car maybe, a little truck. Uh-huh. 
she sat out there and played all day. Wow. House to cook dinners because everybody come to the house to eat. You got a good meal. Them old women could cook. Yes, yeah, sir. they could. Yeah. Yes, and I've often wondered how they survived because they cook, you know, for yep. especially hay time. Yeah. They would be anywhere from six to a dozen men. And they stayed in the house with that big old wood cook stove mm -hmm. all day. Mm -hmm. What are some of the foods that they cooked? Do you remember? Oh, it had to be fried meat, fried taters, and biscuits, and gravy. Yeah. Then whatever you had in the garden, green beans, mm -hmm. peas, whatever was coming out of the garden. Did they make apple pies? And oh, yeah, they would big pies. Big and pies cakes and cakes. And stuff, you know. A lot of times, it was like thrashing time. Uh, some of the other women would come and help cook. You know, you can see it now in movies with the Amish when they have a barn raised and mm -hmm. they got their big tables. That's how it was, huh? Tables out. The men get washed up. Time to eat. Mm. Wow. Is there any funny stories you want to share? Like anything you remember that's really funny? <laughs> oh, Lord. No. Old stories, they were big on ghost stories. Bowens were big on ghost stories. Hmm. Mom said she'd remember them coming over, you know, and they'd, they'd stay up late. They'd probably stay up at 7 o'clock, <laughs> sitting around talking. And, <laughs> you know, well, if you die first, and there's a way back now, you come over and put a rock in front of my door. Or let me know. Just do something that I'll know that's was you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they had their kids scared to death. They were scared to death of ghosts and spooks. And they was ghosts everywhere. But there's one here in this house. I've got a ghost. And I was telling Mom about it one time over there. Something, it'll It'll take something. You ain't gonna find it. Just be patient. It might be a week, it may be six months, and when you find it, it'll be laying in the middle of the floor, on the table, somewhere you've had to find it. Boom, there it is. That's crazy. And Mom sat there and she said, that's been going on ever since that house was built. <laughs> I said, really? She said, yeah, I said, one time they was having an all-day meeting at Elsie and she had a songbook she wanted to play a song out of. Couldn't find it. Looked the house over. Even made Ernest help hunt it. And when they come home that evening, it was on a piano open. Yeah, that still goes on. That's crazy. It, Not took, it took my clothes one time. I didn't have very many clothes. And my wife said, what are you doing with your clothes? I don't know. I don't. I just put them on. They're in the closet. I put something on. And it was, I think it was five months. We come home and they were all they neatly folded on the foot of the bed. Every piece of them. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I called it Aunt Bertha. And <laughs> Mom told me, no, it had been going on before that. Aunt so. Bertha, huh? <laughs> Aunt, Bert Aunt Bertha got it. <laughs> Aunt Bert, Aunt, my kids will even tell you something disappeared. Oh, Aunt Bertha's got it. It'll come back. It'll come back. She'll It'll bring come it back. back. That's funny.